Sick man of Africa, sultan of Morocco beset by enemies, pretender success, he asked for protection from England, latter country, interested on account of Gibraltar, London news and gossip. Morocco is evidently going to provide the next great international crisis. The Sultan is the sick man of Africa, and at present moment is besieged in his capital by a horde of victorious rebels. They're speaking about what they call the Moorish rebels against the establishment. The crisis at Fez has long been anticipated. And the Sultan, who is not altogether a weak monarch, has been preparing for it. The recent Moorish mission to this country and the presence in London of Kaid McLean. And I went over the Highland Scottish clans of the McLeans and found out that they had papal bull charters with the popes of Rome, with Pope the Sixth or Pope the Seventh, Kaid McLean, his ancestors. The valiant Scott is what they're saying. But the Moorish mission, this so-called Moorish sultan, was in connection with popes of Rome, King Edward VII, Kaid McLean, and Great Britain, the foreign French legion, and they had Abraham Lincoln send them two Colt pistols, the United States president, Kaid McLean, the valiant Scott, who is the head of Sultan's army, were both connected with the present trouble. The Sultan was anxious to organize his forces for the coming struggle with the Pretender. They're speaking of the Moorish Pretender. But he's getting all these Europeans up against him. And Nobudrali said, don't put the European on your brother. So who's the Pretender? And for this purpose, desired to place his army under the instruction of the British officers. Putting Britain against the Moorish so-called Pretender. These are his brothers though, right? If indeed, he would not have consented to place his whole kingdom which is that part of Morocco, under some form of British protection. And remember, they ended up having it under the French protectorate. But the storm has broken too soon, and the enemy is at the very gates of his palace before the guns and ammunition which he has ordered abroad, or the foreign military teachers he has engaged, have had time to arrive. In one of the demonstrations I was reading over, it said if the Moorish so-called pretender didn't want to get off the throne, the sultan could be backed by the foreign legion who would give him arms. But it didn't get there yet, apparently. But this is 1903. This is two years after the Moorish mission where he went and met King Edward VII. Kaid McLean was head of the Moorish army who was tied with the popes of Rome through a papal bull charter and the French. He put all of them against the Moorish so-called pretender, Rasul. And I seen in the paper, 1923, all the way up to 23, Rasul said he's too fat to fight. But during this time, Nobudrali's opening up the paper seeing, you know, Moorish Rasul, Moorish Sultanate, and all of that. In spite of the dark outlook, the impression prevails among those London merchants who have close business relations with the country that the Sultan will overthrow his enemies. But are they his enemies or his brothers? But he's willing to do commerce with foreign Europeans and take them out. They have inheritance to the estate as well. But the danger is that in so doing, he will inflict some harm on the person or property of subjects or other nations and embroil himself with them. Anything the Moorish Sultan was making off of commerce, off of the resources of the Moorish Empire, percentages of that go to the so-called Moorish pretender because they're all Moorish. They was just ran to the Atlas Mountains slandered in the newspapers because they didn't want to agree with the establishments of the occupation in the Moorish Empire, whether it was Britain, England, which England, the King Edward VII, he was dressed up as a Scottish. He had direct communications with the Macleans and the McDonald's, the Lockhart. In regards to the Scottish, it all ties back with the heart of Robert the Bruce. All of them was fighting against the Moors. He was trying to take Robert the Bruce's heart to Jerusalem, to the Holy Land. Meanwhile, he stopped and helped other Christians kill some other Moors. All of this craziness, man. I have a demonstration up now in regards to the Lee Penny connected with Scotland and England.
It was given to them for ransom for a Moorish prince. And it's a little coin that has a little pebble on the inside of it. It's a triangle. It's called the Lee Penny. It was given for ransom for the release of a Moorish prince. They was doing human trafficking. Spain and France both look eagerly toward the northwest corner of Africa. And England is not likely to wait too long for an excuse to interfere. Yeah, they're sitting there drooling on the Moorish Empire. Just can't wait. And you got the Moorish Sultan that's sitting there pressing hands with them. Morocco lies right opposite Gibraltar. I want to speak about Gibraltar in regards to Rome. The two pillars of Rome is the Straits of Gibraltar and the presence of any European power in that country would neutralize the British position at Gibraltar. So John Bull has once more brought home to him the awful responsibilities of an empire that extends every quarter of the globe. Did you hear that? So John Bull has once more brought home to him the awful responsibilities of an empire that extends every quarter of the globe. That's the Moorish Empire. It extends to every quarter of the globe. And however anxious he may be to maintain peace. He will have to face the possibilities of hostile operations on the northwest of what used to be the Dark Continent. Get all these books in your life because now is the time. Now is the time. You're going to do it later on. You're going to figure out you forgot. And you're going to be like, damn, what was that all? Uh, what was that book called again? You're going to figure out you forgot. They say, man, those not by being told, the pages unfold. I study, 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 national principles gold. Still the fiat they hold, reaching and clinging for de facto. To save they soul, save they soul. I know my destiny as above, so below. 